Hello besties. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to hop on here. If you are seeing this on April 6th, it is a full moon in Libra today, aka the pink moon. And this is all about obviously Libra closing out chapters, bringing balance into your life, releasing those karmic cycles and movement forward, which we would go ahead and love to see. It's a very transformative time as I believe this is the first full moon of spring. I could be wrong, but it's entering the spring equinox as well. I'm not as good with astrology, but I'm almost 98% positive. But let's go ahead and get started. If you are seeing this after, it is what we are bringing in after this full moon. So make sure you do all the YouTube things, like and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What are we bringing in with this full moon energy? Where are we going after this full moon? Please and thank you. <laughs> Of course, the justice card is coming out. So justice, you know, as we were talking about closing out of karmic cycles, 1111, you've been wishing upon it, really realizing, you know, you stand with your integrity, your honesty, and you realize without, you know, one cause, there cannot be an effect. You're learning those life lessons. You've been resilient. You've had your eye on the prize. You've been working towards this and really moving towards, you know, what you want, what you need, what you desire, you know, fighting for what you want and recognizing your full potential. There's definitely an ability with the seven of swords in reverse of someone to confess, come forward, come clean and tell you how they feel. Their conscience is kicking in. So this could just be, you know, you're resilient on this situation of the chariot. There's going to be fast moving energy. Seven is all about divine timing overcoming obstacles and, you know, having that hard work and focus with the four pentacles in the reverse out here. It's all about shedding the old, focusing in on the new, letting go of, you know, the need to control or possess people, places or things standing in your power, really standing up for your beliefs, you know, fighting for what you believe in and really, you know, asserting your dominance if necessary to go after your wants and needs, but you're really having this image with the higher font. It's the fifth um, card in the major arcana five is all about change. You're getting these knowledge um, and these downloads and really constructing your beliefs and realizing where you belong and where you don't because you're ready to break free from anyone's expectations or kind of releasing the need to be blindsided or wear those rose colored glasses. You're really taking control of your life and finding that solution. If you are in the limelight, there is an opportunity. You are the star. You're going through the spiritual awakening and getting the recognition you deserve. With this healing energy, you're able to take this leap of faith and move forward and really embrace this energy of being a young free spirit and really having that lack of commitment and really being able to have these new starts, these new beginnings and really discover who you are. And I think you were able to go ahead and get a reality check with the devil coming out. You ought to face those fears, those addictions, face that ego, deal with the depression or the mental health issues that went ahead and tore you down and put you in a place that you didn't want to be in. You got to fight your way to the future. And with that, you're bringing in the four of wands. The four of wands is once again, the 1111 card. It's the reunion, a family, a happily ever after, you know, feeling like you're part of a community and having that success and that prosperity. You are no longer looking back with the three of wands. You can see in this card, the person, the man's, you know, has his back turned. He's no longer looking back at the past. They have the confidence and the self-belief that you're going to move forward. Good things are going to work in your favor because you have the strength. You can rely on yourself. Eight is all about abundance, health, wealth, love, gratitude. 
You're really focused in on the influence you have and taking control of your life. With the Knight of Wands, it is this passion. It's this spark. You're going to make a quick decision and chase after something and really stand up for what you believe in and have this challenge. You know, in the past, they had a lot of delays and late timing on this. And you had to go ahead and make those calculated moves or push things to the side because other things needed to be accomplished. But now you're embracing this Queen of Pentacles energy. I mean, eventually we will move out of Aries season and it will be Taurus season. Your favorite Taurus right here. And you are bringing in a new beginning, a new option, a new source of income, a financial opportunity. Really embracing this abundance and this wealth that you're bringing in. And you manifested this because you were ready to compromise and move forward with the Five of Wands in reverse. You're ending that struggle, that need to go ahead and live paycheck to paycheck. You're really planting the seeds and watching them grow. You're ready to go ahead and reap your rewards. You've nurtured this. You've had these ideas. You've set these goals into, and broke them into chunks. People go ahead and overestimate what they can accomplish in one year, but underestimate what they can accomplish in five. And you are really attractive right now. You are bold. You are magnetic. You might be a Leo, but you are attracting in a lot of people that are want to be a part of your life and are really, you know about it and could see a future with you because this communication is coming in and it's coming in quick because it's gaining momentum it's gaining that energy because you've done the work you've healed yourself and now you're getting the recognition you deserve no one's going to question it you are manifesting exactly what you want and what you need and it is this you know new creative energy this new spark this new relationship with the ace of wands this good beginning and you know you're getting your head in the game you know what you want and what you deserve and you're ready to move forward with the ace of cups you filled up your own cup now it's overflowing and you're ready to give back to others with the wheel of fortune this is definitely closing out karmic cycles and being able to move forward the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor you're trusting your intuition even if things have not been yet been revealed to you, you're embracing the world and really realizing that you are in control and closing out this chapter. Lucky number 21. You know, I always say, you know, the world is your oyster and you are the pearl. With this, it's bringing in this independent wealth, this freedom, this success, this ability to make these investments, watch them grow. No longer be stressed, be financially free, be able to travel, experience the world, and really embrace this, you know, Ten of Cups, which is uh, stability, reliability, security, the happily ever after, the family, the white pig offense, the house, the dogs, the kids, the cats, and you have options coming forward. You know, you might have to refuse a few offers and you're daydreaming of what things could be. But the more you daydream, you're going to be able to bring it into the 3D. We have the Divine Soulmates at the bottom of the deck. But let's use LaRoche's deck. Make sure you check her out on YouTube. And we'll see what we need to know with this full moon. What are we moving into? And once again, Divine Soulmates Union. You come together for a purpose. They're watching you on social media, spying on you. Seeing what you're up to and with whom. Because you're the shit. That's for sure. Your whole entire vibe, your energy does not lie. Your chemistry is electrifying. So, like I said, you're magnetic. You are unique, one of a kind. And you have your boundaries. You put them up. You're ready to make healthy choices and decide when you are going to walk away from people. When people are too codependent, too greedy, relying on other things. Or, you know, they're listening to their karmic family or friends around them that don't have the best intentions. That want to keep them in that lower vibrational state. And now you have multiple people coming forward with the entanglement. Past life lovers here to challenge your masculine or your feminine. So definitely multiple lovers coming forward. One could be an earth sign, queen, queen or king of pentacles. Let me be your provider. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They want to give you that stability. You feel like home to this person. And, you know, you've been through a lot in your life. Trials, tribulations, you've overcome them. You know, you've had to deal with a lot of immature people and even getting signs and synchronicities that it's time to let go of those people, you know, stand in your power, you know, think with your head 
and be very logical about the moves you make and, you know, make moves in silence because some people just, you know, might want to just hook up and not really want the same things or build an empire together. But you were meant to shine, you know. This is my Rihanna card, shine bright like a diamond. And you have multiple people that are admiring you from afar, secret admirer, that want to tell you how they feel and be in a romantic connection with you and give you the world. And you're really just focused in on your bag, your hustle, your ambition. And I think you're li leaving behind a poverty and lack mindset and really embracing, choosing yourself, being confident, going after what you want and really looking forward to your passions and you're about ready to explode. You're going to keep walking the walk and talking the talk and moving forward. People are going to fight for you. Definitely out here you got multiple options. King or Queen of Wands. This is a Aries Leo Sag energy. God, universe, source is looking after you. Don't doubt this. Don't self-sabotage. Don't be in denial. Fear that you're not good enough for this person. You are best. So you manifest this. Trust your intuition. Whatever you've been 11-11 making a wish on, putting that time, energy, effort in is going to lead to that commitment, that long-term success, and really potentially a life partner. And bottom of the deck, it is that life partner. Let's Get Naughty is also right below that. So, you know, it's a role play, handcuffs, whips, paddles, chains, you know, the whole jam. But I'm telling you, this person's ready to express how they feel and come forward with the receipts. And they know that if they don't come forward and tell you how they feel, you know, and put in the time, energy, and effort, time is the ticking. And someone else will come forward and chase after you and give you exactly what you want, what you need, and what you've been desiring. I think you're seeing people's true colors. You're seeing, you know, some wolves in sheep clothing, some fake friends. And you're able to move forward and no longer look back in the past. You're getting your stage on, but you're keeping your heart open. And you're realizing as you ascend, you can't take everyone with you. You got to do what makes you happy, what pushes you forward. Because you're the phoenix rising. You have watched shit burn down all around you and you built yourself back up. And sometimes you've had to put in that focus and energy into yourself and pull back from others. But a lot of people, when they see you thriving, doing good, they're going to hit you up. And you have to sort out who has good intentions and who does not. And who does not and who doesn't. There we go. That makes more sense. That was not English. But anyways, let's jump to the Moonology deck since it is a full moon. And let's get some final answers on what we need to know moving forward with this full moon in Libra. Yes, a new romantic cycle is beginning in Libra energy. I know it's not a new moon in Libra, but it's good to see that we're moving into this new energy after this full moon. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. We are in Aries season right now and be bold and make the first move. So walk the walk and talk the talk. Take that aligned action and really realize that you can't let pride get in your way. Don't get egotistical. And be humble and be grateful. Be present in the moment because the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Your commitment's being tested. Are you going to go back to the past or are you going to welcome in the, the new and the future? Because I'm telling you, a new start is coming. As long as you meditate and contemplate, get grounded, really focus that energy in on you. It's kind of like working out for your brain. And don't let the past go ahead and hold you back. Because you're ready to surrender to the divine. Stop controlling the need to control the who, what, when, where, why. And really just relax, breathe through it, and experience it in the moment. Because prosperity lies ahead for you, my love. So we got new moon in Taurus here. So we got money, 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 honey. And, you know, your dreams need a practical plan. Set those goals. Set those intentions. Walk the walk and talk the talk. Because the answers you need are coming. It's time to take action. So you are ready to embrace this and really be able to work through your fears, get grounded and, you know, release anything that no longer serves you because conclusions are within reach because a win-win um, outcome is forecasted. Full moon in Libra, it showed up just like we started. So you will win no matter what, bestie. 
you see the future and what you can achieve. You deserve this and get after it. I love you so much. Make sure you like and subscribe if you aren't a bestie. And I will make sure I will talk to you later. Have a great rest of your day or evening and go check out the other videos in the playlist. Bye besties.